That's the secret. If you see a, a record in the background, it's probably blocking some sort of clutter. So <laughs> that's how we do it. Super secret method. Uh, let me get this shared over to my page, and then we'll get things kicked off here. If you pop in, give me a like, give me a comment, say hi, let me know what's up. share this over for anybody who wants to join and we'll get kicked off in a minute just uh, was in a music mood today so I thought I would play a few tunes here in just a second so I'll give it a couple minutes make sure I got everything ready I don't go live very often so trying to figure the whole thing out is a little iffy sometimes let me make sure I've actually got volume as well yeah, sounds like you guys can hear me based on the other view I got going there. So cool, cool. Let's see if I can set it up to. Uh, all right, cool. Almost there. So I'm gonna run through a couple of tunes today. Uh, well, more than a couple. This is from the Street Corner Salvation EP. Uh, I've got it available on Bandcamp and uh, SoundCloud. I'll post the links in the comments when I'm done because I. I uh, can't think of them off the top of my head. Actually, though, if you go to chrisbyersmedia.com, uh, though its emphasis has been on my book recently, there is a music section that should be able to link you over to these tunes in their actual recordings. This was a EP. I think I finished it back in 2019 or so. I haven't done much with it since then, but it's just in the mood to play some of those acoustically today. So that's what we're going to do here in a minute. And uh, I'm going to kick it off with one called The Lord Reigns Forever. Uh, this was a catchy little tune, has nice little uh, guitar riff on the uh, actual recording. Also played it a few times at a uh, at a church as part of the worship band when I was leading. Uh, it was peppy and upbeat enough that it was allowed, so thanks to Matt White again on that. And uh, I've been told this is a favorite of a couple other folks too, so I'm going to kick it off with that. The actual EP used to start out with a, a different one, but I've flip-flopped the order a little bit here. Um, so this is going to be... The Lord Reigns Forever. Most of the lyrics on this one uh, pulled or paraphrased from Psalm 9. And it's a catchy little jam, so I'm going to get the tempo right. So if you're joining me now, I'm going to kick it off on the Street Corner Salvation EP. We're starting out with The Lord Reigns Forever. Let's do a little jamming, shall we? All right. Thanks to you, Lord. 
Jesus, the Lord reigns forever. Uh, definitely, if you catch it on the full band version, it's got a nice guitar riff. It's a, a little upbeat ditty. This next one's called uh, Gracious God. This actually, uh, lyrics and even the original tune uh, chords are written by my mom, uh, who we lost, unfortunately, last year in, uh, in June. But she had heard this, and she really liked the arrangement that I made of it. I sped it up a little bit. Um, she performed it years ago at a, a church, but this is basically her song that I've just arranged. And so this one uh, was originally written by Leanne Swanson, um, my mom. And uh, this one's called Gracious God. It's a good one for uh, just feeling good throughout the day, right? Troubles around. So God's watching out for me, that kind of a, a mindset. So uh, here it is uh, from the EP. This is Gracious God. As soon as I remember how to play it. Trouble is around as far as I can see. I know that my God. Gracious God, again, that was written by my mom, and I took it and arranged it, added uh, everything that's sort of on the EP version. It's also one that, like most of these, I'm playing them acoustic here, pretty dry, but uh, they've got some some nice uh, recordings of them, chrisbyersmedia.com. If you get to the music section at the top, it should have it all there, and uh, I'll post a link once we're done here as well. That way, anybody wants to actually hear the uh, full versions and everything can definitely check those out well, i appreciate you guys popping in this is just something for my lunch break to keep me entertained so i don't take a nap uh, <laughs> and let's call it the lunch break session so this next one's actually the titled uh track this is the only one on there that was recorded originally at um a studio out in austin texas and it was my uncle's studio and um it had my cousin uh jesse lefebvre doing uh the lead god what's the name i can't think of the name of that guitar resonator guitar on it uh if you hear the original track and so this one's actually called street corner salvation which you can take to mean a few different things uh in my head i pictured it even as as either sort of maybe someone you know homeless uh, who's still holding on to that hope of god uh or maybe if you want to think even in the future where maybe it's somebody who's just you know persecuted for their 
belief, but they're still kind of hanging on there. They're holding on to that salvation. So here's the title track off the EP. This is uh, Street Corner Salvation. It's not just a prayer to pray, repentance and turning away from sin. Where salvation will begin Sanctified daily then Until such a time as when Lord comes to take us home to Stand before His heavenly throne Out on the streets To try to get by But long ago forgotten by our nation title track from the EP Street Corner Salvation and uh, a couple more here again you can find the actual full recordings on chrisbyersmedia.com under the music tab at the top I believe like I said I've been advertising my book I just wrote a little heavier there so when you first get to the site you'll see a lot of that but uh, this music section I think you can find the full uh, EP with the songs for free to listen to they've got full band arrangements and everything so like I said today I'm just uh, again, trying to keep myself from napping during my lunch break. <laughs> so I'm singing through uh, these songs acoustically. It's been a while since I pulled them out. So uh, This next one was the latest, I was, I guess the last addition to it. It was a newer one I wrote while I was still doing the EP. This one uh, was originally meant to be sort of more of a worship song. Uh, it probably ended up being too heavy for that because that's just how my, my things trend. But uh, if you hear the full arrangement, this one probably has the most instrumentation on it and little breakdown sections and things, but uh, we'll play it acoustic, see how it goes. This was more of its original form. This one's called How I Love. So 
the later addition to the EP and uh, probably like I said it probably has the most instrumentation of all of them if you hear the, the full band there again you can get them at chrisbyersmedia.com uh, under the music tab should have a link to it and uh, if I'm wrong I'm going to put a link to them in the, in the comments when I'm done too again just uh, a little improvisation playing through Street Corner Salvation EP here uh, to keep me awake on my lunch break so these are the, the lunch break sessions, I like to call them. So uh, I got another one. This is the last one on the EP itself. And then, you know, I may play a bonus one or two here. But this one is, uh, was one of the first ones I wrote for it. And um, it was originally meant to be like a communion song. And then it kind of morphed into a, a little bit more than that. So uh, this is called Sacrifice.
version of uh, Sacrifice, and uh, technically, if you're finding the EP, those are the, the five tunes that are on it there, but uh, I'm still in kind of a music mood, still got a little bit of lunch break left, so i got two more I think I'm going to do. These would be uh, what we'll call bonus tracks, um, still in the same vein of kind of uh, Christian acoustic rock kind of thing, so I um, hope you stay tuned for them. Uh, this first one, I... I did it a long time ago in a key that was too high for me. And so I've tried to take it lower, make it a little bit more like my voice is now. Um, I wrote this one after my grandmother passed away when I was sort of feeling uh, down. So I think it's kind of a, it's a good, uh, it's upbeat, but it's um, a good reminder of how we can, uh, you know, trust him in the good times, the bad times. It also has a, a bit of a line that was taken from that old uh, footprints in the sand picture she used to have up on her, uh, it was the bathroom wall or something, so, uh, where, you know, the, the times that you see one set of footprints, it was it was when he carried us, you know, so uh, there's a line in here about that. I haven't done it in this key very often, so I'm um, gonna see if it works, and uh, again, this is your bonus track, not on the actual EP, but uh, you can probably find your recording somewhere out there. Or you can play this back over and over. So this one's called Trust because I was real creative with my song names in college. <laughs> Here we go. Things not going how I planned them Troubles round as far as I can see but then you pulled away the veil And suddenly I can tell What it is you wanted me to be During the good times you were beside me During the bad I wasn't sure But it was during those times Oh, you carried me Now all I want to do is praise I want to praise you in the morning I want to praise you in the evening, the darkness of the night, oh, all day and I want to be by your side and put my trust in you, gotta put my trust in you, I know that you'll pull me through and get me through the toughest trials, just sit with me a while and show me how things are made anew. I want to praise you in the morning at the first day's light Praise you in the evening, the darkness of the night All day and all night, I want to be by your side Put my trust in you, yeah, I got a trust
that's a quick one. There's your bonus track, Trust, uh, written back when I was in college. And let's have a little fun. Let's go back all the way to high school. One of the very first songs I wrote. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully still, you know, not terrible. Um, I thought this one was funny. I used to play it at a, a gospel barn full of uh, people that were 80 years and older, and even they kind of dug it. So uh, can you dig it? I don't know if people say that anymore, but this one's called uh, Rock and Roll for Jesus. And I'll close it out on this one so I can have time to eat some lunch. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Lunch Break Sessions with Chris Byers Band, or Chris Byers, it's me. ChrisByersMedia.com, where you can find the EP that I've been playing through with the full band arrangements. Uh, just go to the music tab, should be on there, and I'll post a link in the comments when we're done. But thanks for hanging out and keeping me awake on my lunch hour. And uh, let's end it with the fun one here. This is uh, Rock and Roll for Jesus. Feeling kind of down, I didn't know what to do. I asked my local preacher, he said, Son, get a clue. You gotta know the Lord Jesus, he'll tell you what to do. I got down on my knees, I prayed, and the good Lord Jesus came into my life that day. And I said, Hey, Jesus. What does he want me to say? He said, a rock and roll for Jesus. Rock and roll for Jesus. Rock and roll for Jesus. And a rock and roll for Jesus. Got a rock and roll for Jesus. That's what he wants you to do. When I told my friends, they said, what's wrong with you? I said, I got the Lord Jesus. And you guys need him too. He said, rock and roll for Jesus, rock and roll for Jesus, Ooh, rock and roll for Jesus, rock and roll for Jesus, you gotta rock and roll for Jesus, that's what he wants you to do, one more time everybody, rock and roll for Jesus, rock and roll for Jesus, Ooh, rock and roll for Jesus. Well, I said I was signing off, so uh, if you missed it, you'll be able to catch it again and post it. Again, this was me uh, staying awake on my lunch hour by playing through my Street Corner Salvation EP. You can find the full band arrangements, chrisbyersmedia.com. Um, uh, other than those last two, which were just kind of bonuses. Of course, now everybody's tuning in, so I'm, I'm tempted to give another another song because now I'm seeing the, the count going up. So I was done, but... Uh, you guys have inspired me. Go ahead and do one more. Um, I'll tell you what, and God forgive me if I've forgotten the verses. I just wrote this one with a pastor friend of mine about uh, people that are talking a little too much on Facebook in their comment sections and in the uh, uh, kind of hurting their witness in the process. We called it Facebook profit was kind of the term he coined. He wrote a good chunk of it, and then I put it to music, but since I'm seeing more people joining now, and I, I told you I was done, but let's play this uh, this new one, which um, I may or may not have memorized, so uh, <laughs> we're about to find out. Uh, this one you can find posted on Facebook uh, with the correct lyrics if I happen to botch them up, so. Facebook profit. All the Facebook profits proclaiming the new political way repent and vote right or be left on that day and they say that if you vote wrong God blots out your name heaven is reserved for those who forward the right mean you're a prophet of the worst kind are you misguided or sincere? Is your only goal to divide with messages unclear? You say that you believe in truth, but you ex-
expose your mind to the most untruthful things that your wandering heart can find. And how can anyone see Christ in all the things you say when you're a Facebook prophet and division is your way? Hey, and politics and Christ don't mix no matter how you try. Always reveals the log in your own eye. Politics and Christ don't mix. I wish that you could see. We're both grabbing the same life raft. Why are you trying to kick me free? You see a catchy headline, and you just had to share. What consequence could it have? You honestly don't care You're damaging your witness To everyone who reads Conspiracies and empty words That you turned into creeds How can anyone see Christ In all the things you say When you're a Facebook prophet And division is your way Reveals the log in your own eye. Politics and Christ don't mix. I wish that you could see. We're both grabbing the same life raft. Why are you trying to kick me free? We're both grabbing the same life raft. Why are you trying to kick me free? Hey man, we're both serving Jesus. Can't you show some love to me? That's the newest one, uh, co-written with Pastor Matt White out of Austin, Texas, uh, about Facebook prophets proclaiming that uh, gospel of politics, which we don't we don't subscribe to here in my world. But anyway, um, you can catch all these. That one actually uh, was posted on my my page a few days ago. Um, Everything I played before this, which I'm finished up now, so thanks for popping in. If you did, you can go back and review it. I played through my Street Corner Salvation EP. You can find those full band recordings of that, chrisbyersmedia.com. Uh, there's a music tab there. And like I said before, when you first get there, it's focused a lot on the book I just wrote. But if you go to the music tab, there should be a link to the Street Corner Salvation. It takes you over to Bandcamp, where you can listen to them for free, I believe. I don't think I'm charging you for them. Um, don't need to do that so if I am tell me but I don't think I am they're free uh, so there's five songs there on that EP uh, played a couple bonus tracks for you here so if you missed the whole thing and want to go back through this live video there's uh, what, what would we say maybe eight songs if you count the one I just finished so anyway this has been uh, Chris Byers band on my lunch break sessions which is uh, my way of staying awake instead of napping and uh, I'm gonna grab a little snacky before I go back to work so thank you guys again for tuning in be sure to like me here, Chris Byers Band, and uh, chrisbyersmedia.com. It's still being built, but that's sort of the website I'm using to consolidate all my cool things. So my writings, my uh, my music, my love of James Bond, which is sort of a left field thing there. But but yeah, I, I get into some timeline theories and stuff. So, you know, uh, anyway, <laughs> if we got time to kill at work, uh, check me out, chrisbyersmedia.com. And uh, man, I appreciate y'all keeping me awake for this lunch break and letting me play some tunes. So uh, I'll try to do a few more of these lunch break sessions uh, occasionally, just um, just when I'm in a good music mood. So again, I uh, hope you all have a blessed day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. And now I'm going to figure out how to turn this.